Dignity is a word that needs no healing. Dignity is a word that belongs to all of us. Dignity comes with writing. What kind of writing? What kind of writing brings dignity? Writing needs words, not just words we know and use, but words we discover, words that cost. Once we understand who we are, what we need to be ourselves. A word is a magical accomplishment. It is not what we speak because of how we are raised. It is what we give meaning to once we discover and learn how to follow our inner voice. A voice inarticulate in the beginning, a voice unknown, a voice of no words that becomes words, new words, inspired words, stupendous, our words. What are the words to be healed? And why do words need healing? Because, because we live in a world of voice and no voice. Because we live in a world of voiced and voiceless. When words heal and become healing, when inner voice enables a space to be found, and inhabited equally between the voiceless and the voiced. A new, unexpected dialogue enabled both by the voiceless and the voice to understand, to accept, to actually listen to each other as words transform to a bridge. A bridge we inhabit, we sustain, and we share. Lemon. A lemon is a fruit, but it also means failure. A lemon is touch, taste, smell, desire. Words are touch, smell, taste, Desire. Think of an amphitheater. In a university full of academics and postgraduates. I'm invited to teach a postgraduate seminar on translation and mutual understanding. I hand out lemons to the participants. They come from various countries, various languages, international studies, and the art of translation unites them. See, it's very difficult to do something with a lemon with your bare hands. They need to find a way to break open the lemon with 
their bare hands. As they find themselves in the process to actually use the lemons, I ask them to speak. They didn't expect that. Unexpectedly, with spontaneity, they began to narrate what they have done with the lemons in their lives. Unexpectedly, countries and childhood ways become apparent. The amphitheater breaks into memory, gender, politics, England. Ireland, China, Russia, Egypt. In this amphitheater, people are voiced. Not only they have a voice, but they exercise that voice as well. In this amphitheater, people turn to countries and national claiming, without meaning to, it just happens by who they are and why they're there. In the meantime, the lemons open, smell, and run through their fingers. The task is accomplished. Suddenly, they all realize they all share the same experience. I ask them to discover a word of their own in their own mother tongue, in their own language. Philemon. Healing has begun. You see, you can use a lemon in so many ways. Healing not only of themselves, but of their words. Fear. Second word to heal. Imagine we are at the borders between Greece and Turkey. The women who are invited to participate in the workshop and the performance that will later take place are Christian women and Muslim women. Women who live next to each other. Women who speak different mother tongues. Women who share identity cards and passports. Women who are not united. Women in conflict. Women without a voice of their own, voiceless. Dignity is a value. Dignity is a human right. Dignity is giving equal space. The purpose of the workshop and the purpose of the performance is to write and perform peace talk. A writing workshop where the women participate. Writing assignments, which means words. Example of an assignment, just for you to know. I give to the women 
of the borders. Fear eats away my teeth. The women write their texts in private. When and within the protected space of the workshop. But their texts, their texts, they perform in public. Peace talk is the name of the performance. So in essence, they are expected to perform peace and talking to and because and for peace. And these are their texts. Fear. Fear breaks open, is articulated, share and exposed. Fear of being who you are, of losing your home, fear of existence. Healing the word fear is giving fear a new meaning. It's not obliterating fear, it's giving it a new meaning. Healing the word fear is calling others to that new meaning. Healing is sharing. The understanding that fear lives inside our mouths. It actually does. So we want a voice to speak the words without fear. We want a voice to enable us not to be afraid. We want a voice to speak the unspeakable. Then something amazing happens. Then the voiceless become voiced. Imagine, which actually you don't have to because it has happened, but for you to be present, imagine. Women in prison. Um, in a facility not very far from Athens, it's in a place called Eleonas, close to Thebes. These women in prison are invited to watch Peace Talk, watch the performance. The women in prison are different nationalities, different religions, different mother tongues different educational and social backgrounds. A considerable number of these women are Muslim, not all of them. When the performance is completed, the women on stage ask the women who watch, who have witnessed with the the performance to get up and dance with them. And they do. A common dance takes place of recognition, of acceptance, of healing fear, of empowering each other to discover a voice to speak, a voice to accept themselves and one another, a voice to change our lives. Together. Third world, third word to be healed. 
think of space. Space is a refugee camp abandoned around the world, abandoned around us. Space is safety and the loss of safety. Some of us are safe. Some of us are not. Some of us are refugees. Some of us come from refugees. Some of us are not. Refugee or no refugee means I am a person entitled to dignity. I am entitled to my voice. I am entitled to be heard. I am entitled to think and to create. A refugee is a person displaced. Displaced is loss of space, your space. We can all be displaced. In some way or another, we all are. Writing as a refugee is witnessing your life and what has happened in that life of yours. Writing as a refugee is remembering who you are, what you want, and what you offer. Writing as a non-refugee is remembering who you are, what you want, what you offer. Bringing refugees and not refugees together is dignity. Bringing refugees and not refugees together is space. The voiceless, and the voiced create together. Which means, unless together, there is no space to be created. To write, to think, to discover the words they can share, the words that acquire new meaning. In that space, inner voice, is shared and discovered by both at the same time. Together takes on a new meaning, unexpectedly, with vigor and relief. We have to remember words cost. Words are not for granted, and definitely they're not abundant. Lemon, fear, together. When writing takes on, when the space of words becomes a voice you didn't know you had, when that inner voice articulates meaning, then word acquires a new space. Public and private, shared and unique, enabling and enabled. Word turns the impossible to possible. Healing is at place. Inside language, inside you and me, inside us. We live in and with dignity.